All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's vlog and we're here at Stokes Volkswagen and we're raffling off some raffle tickets. That's right, for the uh, concert tomorrow night at the Windjammer that Stokes VW is sponsoring. So uh, stay tuned shortly as we go in the office with Mr. Mike Mazel as he pulls one ticket out. We'll give away two tickets to tomorrow night's concert. Let's see uh, who is in tomorrow night's concert. It's a country music singer. That's right, kind of a country pop music singer. Why am I forgetting her name? I do not know. Let's, uh, let's look it up real quick, I'll be right back. All right, let's take a look. Here, so here is Stokes Volkswagen's Facebook page, Lauren Elena. That's right, that's this Thursday. Stokes Volkswagen's a sponsor. So as you saw, that was the video right there, and uh, we let's take a look at some statistics here and see analytics here. Uh, that video got 2,190 views. Wow, good job on that, everybody. And um, let's see here, we got we got 44 shares, 27 thumbs up for likes. Okay, so 44 share, 27 thumbs up. I have 25 people in the basket in there that did both. So let's see who gets their name pulled or today, yeah. All right, everybody, we got some people coming out getting ready to pull out a name for the tickets tomorrow night. And uh, uh, who are you, sir? Craig, oh, sorry. <laughs> We're live on I'm Facebook. Say, I didn't know what you wanted me to do. No, nah, okay, cool. I'm Craig Smith, business development manager with Volkswagen Credit. All right, great, awesome. Thank you, Craig, for coming in today at Stokes Volkswagen. And everybody, Craig is going to pull a name out the box for tomorrow night's concert. Go ahead, Craig, let's get it started. Anita Nelson. Anita Nelson. Anita Nelson, you are the winner, and we will contact you very shortly to let you know that you're the winner. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you so much, Craig. Let's pull one more name just to, um, <laughs> in case Miss Anita doesn't uh, contact us. Yeah. Layla Fox Estrada. Layla Fox Estrada. Miss Layla, I know who you are. Awesome. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Craig. Thank we appreciate it. Awesome. All right, so we called two names. We will be contacting y'all very shortly, so make sure to um, reply when we send you a message online on Facebook very soon. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, so as you saw, we picked some names for the concert tomorrow night. Uh, I just got off the phone with my contact at the Windjammer in Isle of Palms and John told me that uh, ticket sales are already well over 500 people have bought tickets online and uh, it's going to be a packed show tomorrow afternoon. Every time I'm here at Stokes Volkswagen I always run into a cool vehicle. Check this thing out everybody, it's the Polaris Slingshot, my goodness. Now this, uh, it's not a vehicle traded in so it's definitely uh, not a for sale vehicle. I'm pretty sure somebody in our shop back there owns this really wild looking vehicle I mean look at this thing have you ever seen one of these on the road I'm sure you have I mean probably not one to cruise around in town this when it's raining but check it out I mean look at the headlights you got two projector bulbs right there more over here I mean this thing is very unique really cool looking huh alloy wheels those are uh, 18 inch rims with a 225 45 series tire pretty cool it's kind of neat look at the seats in this thing wow we is that not unique let's walk around the other side get a good shot of the um of everything is that the three-wheeler look at that thing how the suspension set up in the back Kind of like a motorcycle with two, I don't know, it's, I mean, it's not even like a motorcycle, it's really unique. Um, all LED lights in the back. 
that's pretty cool. Looks like this is your gas tank here, the Slingshot SLR. The paint sure is shiny. Look at all the metallics in that paint. That's cool. Even has a Sparco steering wheel. There's your gauges. Manual transmission, five speed. Wow, wait, who owns this? I gotta go inside and find out who owns the Slingshot. All right, I found out who actually owns the Slingshot back there. It's Danny, our technician, and uh, we gotta find Danny because I wanna go for a ride like right now. <laughs> I'm sure everybody else does too. It's really cool. So Danny usually is right over in this area and he's, he's disappeared. Let's go find him. All right, everybody, we're in the slingshot. Uh, this one's fully loaded, according to what Danny was telling me. Um, Four-cylinder engine, uh, pretty fast. And uh, yeah, this one's uh, retail price is around 28.4, right around there, which isn't bad for a, for a vehicle like this. Um, to me, this is more something probably going out on the highways, having fun on the weekends, and just, just enjoying life, right? So uh, Danny's gonna take us for a quick ride, and uh, let's see how this little puppy does. Manual transmission, Danny? Yes. Okay, so five speed manual. There's your horn, everybody. <laughs> And uh, Danny just took delivery of this this past Friday, so he's only had it less than a week now. This is interesting. So you definitely don't want to get caught in the rain. Nope. No, nope. there's no top at all. It's all water resistant. It's all water, all water resistant on the interior. So that's interesting. Small windshield up here, and um, it's like kind of like a little toy. Sure is, Got a Rockford Fosgate stereo. Oh yeah. Danny loves reggae because he's from the Caribbean. Yo shit handle right down there. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this little thing. This is cool. goes up to what speed? Uh, 120 on there. 120. I don't know if I'd want to do 120 in this or not. <laughs> Have you gone? What's the fastest you've gone in so far? <laughs> I don't know yet. I get scared after. Have you one. gone 70 yet? I think yeah. I did about 80 the other day. Wow, 80. Yeah. And 80 feels really fast. Yep. That's pretty insane. Absolutely. I mean, it does. You're low to the ground. Yep. Easy to drive. Easy to drive, man. You just sit in there, adjust your seat. Uh huh. Man, don't get no better than this. And that's your start stop button there. Yep. Okay. And your LED lighting or your plane lighting on the inside. And look at this, it even has like a traction control button. Yep. If, if you, you want, want to do that. Out, you can do burnout. Switch and that's it. <laughs> You're ready. 
Now, leg room is a little tight on this side, but hey, it's all good. Um, it does have a glove box right here with all the information in there. And as you can see here, it has a USB port that comes out there to plug in your device and a 12 volt outlet. It also has two storage units behind the seats. Two storage units behind the seats. So, uh, yeah, you can get a little st stuff in here. How big are the store? Can you show us those? Yeah. Let's take a look. Cool. Thank you for the rod, Danny. Awesome. As you can see, the metal, this is a roll cage. Whoa. I'm loving the orange. Kind of has that Lamborghini feel to the color scheme on here. The poor man's Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's pretty deep. Yeah. Not bad. There's one on both sides. Okay, so you got two of these right behind both seats. So you got yeah. a little bit of room. Gas tank is right there where you fill it up at. Yeah, two cup holders. That's sweet. It's supposed to be a motorcycle, but it sure is more fun than a motorcycle. Yeah, and it, it probably feels a little safer than a motorcycle, too. Yeah, so I like this thing. This is cool. The seats are great. Um, I mean, back tires super wide. So don't have to worry about flipping it or anything like that too much. Yeah. It's made to go around the turns real good. Mm -hmm. It's designed specifically for that. Wow. It kind of looks like a motorcycle, how the rear end is kind of shaped back here. Right. Jimmy Jones Polaris up in that. So it's Orangeburg. Yep. That's right off the interstate there. Yep. Cool. All right, y'all got to see it. So each day we come to Volkswagen, it seems to get cooler and cooler. I got to keep coming back here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Y'all know you got to see how the hood opens up, kind of like a Corvette. Uh, fiberglass, Danny? Yes. So it's all fiberglass, and then there is your engine, and uh, what Danny was saying is this a, a General Motors engine? Yes. Four and look at that. Four cylinder, got the big intake right up in the front here, all naturally aspirated. Your suspension's right there. I like how everything's kind of painted to go with the scheme of the car under the hood, and look at that, how that's, how that's been kind of developed with all the induction ports and all that kind of stuff. Pretty neat. That's really interesting. Wow. So for what I, you know, I was talking to Danny just now off camera about pricing and, and all that and why he went to Orangeburg to buy his at Jimmy Jones. And, uh, you know, he said that American Biker up in Somerville is the only dealer in the Charleston Tri-County area that sells those. He said, look, the guys were fooling around with me on the price. Wouldn't give me a discount, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know. And like Danny said, you know, people aren't stupid nowadays. I mean, they're going to look online, see what invoices are on these things, and try to come up with a decent price. He said, next thing you know, he's calling up there to Jimmy, Jimmy Jones up in Orangeburg, which is only about an hour and 15 minutes from Charleston. And he's like, the guy gave me a discount. I got to talk to the owner of the dealership. And, uh, and they even went to North Carolina to get it for me and delivered it to his house on Friday. I mean, that's... That's good service right there. So, I mean, that makes sense why someone will go out of town to buy a vehicle. Get a better price. It's not a hassle getting it delivered right there to your house. You got a better interest rate with financing it. Um, all that kind of stuff plays into a factor. Why don't our local places here in town cater to, cater to folks and uh, help them out? I know there's probably more to the story than that. And, uh, you know, that always happens. You know, people say oh, these things and then, you know, well, you know, then the dealer says, oh, well, you know, I did try giving him this, that, and this, and that. Who knows? I don't really know. But I do know from what the man that owns it told me. So, uh, again, people that live locally, come on, guys. Hook, hook the price up. Sell to your local people. They're going to bring it to you to get it serviced and all that. And maybe that's what dealers think sometimes. They're like, hey. That person's gonna go out of town and buy it, but then we'll catch him on the service side, getting it serviced and be able to make a little money on the front end on that. Why not just take care of the people and not have an odd feeling in you when you go to get it serviced and all that, right? Yeah, anyways, that's my two cents.